let no one lie to you, my lady or my guy. To reach out to a bigger and a wider audience, the best way is to pay for social media ads, either on Facebook, either on Instagram, either on TikTok, either on YouTube, whichever way. That's the only either on TikTok. That's the only way to reach out to a bigger and wider audience. But funny enough, based on based on what I've seen, based on research, based on personal experience, hashtags can also be your saving grace. Hashtag can also be your 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 hack to reach out to newer or older audience. That's the only way you can reach out today because at the end of the day, my guy, the apps are also ready to make money from me, from you. So there's a way they need to pin or streamline certain audience to you. People even talk too much about uh, how, let me not mention any app. It's difficult to reach out to more audience. I'm, I'm just speaking about a different app. I'm not here to destroy any other person's business. But it's difficult to reach out to certain people on a certain app. But you can tell that it's too easy to reach out to more audience on, on, on TikTok. And if you're lucky on YouTube or something, because that's the bigger portion. YouTube is just a sister and a brother and the same on working with Google. So if you're lucky, you could be saved. Like I said, let's go back to the main issue that I'm trying to make this video. There are beautiful people creating accounts each and every day. I believe since you can afford for a, a pay ad, I think you should also be playing around with the hashtags. If you're making the food, nutrition, or whatever that you're making, you should also be limit limit the hashtags that you're making. You can't be cooking food and be, 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 be having the hashtag wildlife, hashtag wildlife, hashtag animals, hashtag dogs, hashtag uh, paint, hashtag cow. No. At least the, the hashtag should be generic and specific to exactly what you're doing. If I'm playing football, I can make the hashtags hashtag soccer, Ghana soccer, Nigeria soccer, America soccer, America football, or whichever way. You just tone it down. And also, don't slap your post too much with about 30 or 50 hashtags. Usually, when you do that, it blocks the post and also keeps it on the page. And it, unless a stranger who has a bigger follower comes and shares it. And if you're not lucky, if you're lucky, that's where a bigger person comes. Someone with a bigger page comes on your, pay, on your page. He may share your work to a different audience. He may like your work to a different audience. That's the only way you can grow up. If not, just stick to the hashtags little by little. And also be specific about the hashtags placement because hashtags are just like a uh, let's just say a, a, a database so in the hashtag of Bria Shinziki which is solely mine it has almost all my works you can find them on Bria Shinziki a hashtag on Bria Shinziki will give you a different feedback on TikTok will give you a different feed on YouTube will give you a different feed on Instagram will give you a different feed on f Facebook Yes, I'm not on Snapchat anyway, so I can speak about it. So let's just be generic. Let's just try as much as possible to remain in the hashtags kingdom since we can afford to pay for ads. Because when you pay for ads on the any of the app, that's where they take your work to a wider audience for them to see it. Oh, this, oh, this. But when you're lucky and the internet favors you and your work has no hashtag, if you're lucky, it will get up, it will get to wider audience. But the thing is, if a person that doesn't have a big page won't touch or wouldn't share it to his or her uh, audience, imagine someone comes on your page and the person who also has about 50 million followers, and you just make a first post on your Instagram without no hashtag. That's who your lucky bean. It can go far because based on the bigger follower that the person has over you. So if you are not lucky that someone will come on your page and they will share your work to their bigger audience, that you may also get one or two audience. If you can pay for all the apps 
all the apps ad adverts ad you can advertise on any of the apps just because you don't have money do so well and be playing around the hashtags especially on facebook on tiktok on youtube on instagram do well and be using them they can be a saving grace they've helped me so many times in these years whereby i'm just recommending it to you i'm just suggesting it to you hashtags do help they are database of works online if you are lucky and your works fall into that database others can view and see you but little by little we all get there and little by little we all get to the right audience that we ever need and little by little even if the people come with a negative vibe on the roast sets on social media we'll just laugh on the daily because at the end of the day they can only roast us they can never take our shine they can never block us they can never numb numbers to the grounds use your hashtags use it well don't blow it up too much for you to conform and just locked on your page you will definitely get there we're still having the lower numbers but it's better it's better it's better hack 101 hashtags to help don't let no one lie to you it's still Bray Aston Ziggy with Ghost <laughs>